And I would like now to introduce a man who emerged to lead his nation out of a revolution. A man who believed that he was driven and directed by destiny to spread the ideals of revolution, of liberty, equality, and fraternity. And who believed that by his intelligence, his ability, and his will, he was able to impose order and, and stability on what had deteriorated into bloody, terrifying chaos. Please welcome the Emperor of France, Napoleon Bonaparte. Mesdames et Messieurs, braves soldats de la Grande Armée, je suis fier de vous. L'ennemi de la France de la, a déclaré la guerre sur nous, mais ce sont nous qui leur avons apporté la guerre dans le cœur de leur pays avec victoire. La guerre n'est pas encore gagnée. Aussi, je vous demande d'être fort et vigilant de continuer la lutte en braves et courageux soldats. Nous aurons bientôt une victoire complète et enfin à cette guerre. Vive la France et vive la grande armée Vive la France <rires> I beg pardon. <laughs> I must admit, I have been covered with glory for the past several years. Marching into so many capitals, victory after victory, that I had forgotten for a brief moment exactly where I was. Normally I am addressing the soldiers of France, or the people of the various countries that I have liberated. Uh, but here I am in America. In the presence of these three great men, Presidents of the United States, forgive me, Mr. Weldon, for not including you in that first speech. <laughs> but when you become president, I promise you, I shall have <laughs> But alas, here I am on this unrecorded visit here to America, in the city of Williamsburg, a city which indeed has seen its share of Frenchmen. You will all remember that thanks to the assistance of my country of France, that of Louis XVI, and under the orders of Le Comte de Rochambeau, many thousand French soldiers came to the shores of America to fight and bleed for your independence. <laughs> In this city, my chief of staff, that of Maréchal Berthier, was but a captain then, serving under the orders of Le Comte de Rochambeau, and there gaining his experience as a soldier and told me of the American people and how they strove to achieve their independence. Well, now I am amongst three presidents. General Washington, I have the greatest admiration for you. Indeed, your service to this nation in achieving its independence will never be forgotten. Indeed, your legend, your notoriety is known throughout the world, but especially in France. I believe no other man in history in the history of mankind, could have brought about victory in the revolution here in America. Perhaps you did not win every battle, but it was your will, it was your desire to succeed that brought about victory in this grand cause of American independence. Uh, Ah, where to begin with you? <laughs> I too have great admiration for you. You are an enlightened man of the 18th century. You could be counted among the philosophers, the great thinkers of this age of reason. If anything, I would say perhaps you philosophize a bit too much. <laughs> but uh, your writing of the Declaration of Independence was inspirational not only to the people of America, but of course to the people of France as well and perhaps was the foundation for the Declaration of the Rights of the Man and the Citizen. I applaud you, Monsieur. <laughs> and Monsieur Madison as well. We have both endured many rigors and difficulties, your service to this young nation, and of course, uh, the continual war against our age-old enemy, that of England. Your support of <laughs> President Jefferson, during the purchase of the Louisiana Territory, with one signature, I made the United States of America the next world power. <laughs> and of course, you shall never be forgotten for what you did 
with the creation of this constitution, though I will say to you that I believe constitutions should be short and vague, so I can interpret them any way I wish. <laughs> I jest, of course. <laughs> Gentlemen, I thank you for having me on this glorious occasion. Oh, he really looks like a Now, we would like to resume with your questions uh, <laughs> to the presidents and emperors here. Uh, there is only one emperor here. <laughs>